Hi and welcome to The Winning Factor. I'm Alan Aitken and on this show each week we try and identify the key ingredient of an upcoming race in Hong Kong which we might look back on later as having been the path to finding the winner. Well after our winning double on day one in class five last week I thought we'd go back to class five again. Go back to the well and our first look on Sunday comes up in race one and here our winning factor, the sectionals. To me, the horses that are going to get the most attention in the betting market here are Corre Rapido for Zach Burton up the top of the weights. Uh, we also have exponents from the Mi Choi Yard and Joe Marrera's Mount Fortune Happiness. So this race marks the start of the dirt season in Hong Kong for 2019-2020 and for those unfamiliar with the scene here there are around about a hundred uh, races a season on the dirt. It's uh, called the all weather popularly but uh, it's more like a classic American dirt style of track although not as deep as the dirt tracks in places like Japan or Dubai. So it's a slightly different experience for the horses and as in anywhere uh, there are people who really excel on this uh, particular surface and those who don't. And the leading uh, trainers, for example, uh, over the last 10 years, we've got this table from 2009 onwards, and you'll see here uh, Mi Choi has been the winningest trainer right up the top there with 91 wins over that uh, period. Uh, he hasn't been the leading dirt trainer every year, but he's very consistently in the first two or three. And I've also highlighted here the trainer who seems his biggest uh, coming threat, and that's Frankie Law. We've only seen Frankie for two seasons now, but he's been exceptional, as you can see, by that strike rate. And after only two seasons, he's the seventh ranked uh, over the last 10 years. So at his current rate, it's not long before he's going to be up there challenging Mi Choi for the premier spot. But Frankie doesn't have a runner in this opening race on the dirt. Mi Choi, however, does, and I think that uh, this is a great chance for Blake Shin to show us his wares and uh, break through for his first Hong Kong win with Exponents. And the race I want to take you back to look at for Exponents is his last appearance. Now this is at Happy Valley last July, race 779, and you can see here on the heat map that this was not an exceptionally fast run race at any stage, a little bit slow early, uh, even uh, tempo for the rest of the race, but uh, Exponents himself was particularly good here. Uh, you'll see him charging home into second under the Brazilian jockey Wagner Borges and running exceptional uh, sectional times here. Now, um, this wasn't a race where the run on horse was flattered, which we do see at times. In fact, Exponents' last 400 metre sectional here was around four tenths faster. That's a, around about two lengths, let's call it faster than any other runner all night, even in the higher grade races. And this is something that we don't that often see from the class five horses. That was the same kind of factor we pointed out with Adonis last week, uh, as his finishing sectionals had been uh, well above average for class five. So I think that stands exponents in good stead. And he maps to get a good run here. If we take a look now at the map, the most likely leader here is Corre Rapido. Uh, he's led and won a couple of times on the dirt. He's looked most effective at doing that. And I'm sure that that will be Zach Purton's uh, tactic here, trying to get the lead, trying to get control. Behind him, I do think that uh, Joe Marrera will have fortune happiness in touch. And interesting gear change for him. He's got blinkers going on. He would normally be in touch with the lead. If he's even a bit uh, sharper, he might try to take on Zach for the lead. But uh, I'm mapping him where we've seen him in the past. And that puts him just behind the lead and exponents just behind him, most likely. So he is going to give a start, but I think he's got the finishing speed to overcome that. So the tip in race one, exponents, his winning factor, the sectionals. This doesn't look a very fast run race, so tactically he's not in the perfect position, exponents. But I think as we've seen, he has very good finishing speed, unlike most of these horses. And that should be enough for him to be able to turn the tables when the business gets serious in the home straight. The other race we're going to take a look at is also on the dirt, but we go all the way over to race nine. This is class three. And here our winning factor, the map. 
Now this is a race without a lot of depth. Uh, I don't think there are many chances and we have a pretty much a face off with uh, our two best dirt trainers, with Kobe Opper from the Frankie Law Stable and Mi Choi trained Winner Supreme. In the uh, background there's the talented Silver Fig lurking if the uh, front horses get it wrong and the run-ons come into it. But I do think that uh, the way this race is going to be run is going to suit the front runners. The obvious speed in the race is Winner Supreme and if we look at the map uh, I can see Kobe Opper being handy but from gate one Winner Supreme uh, he's not often led in his races uh, he'll bounce out here he'll uh, control the speed and I think we're going to see something that will become a feature of the season here. Now uh, jockeys in Hong Kong tend to ride the dirt races like they're just turf races transferred to a different surface and that's not really the best way to ride them. If you look at the top American jockeys, they're very big on momentum and building rhythm with horses and not stopping and starting uh, in races and even wide running they don't worry about too much. Now Blake Shin has uh, often ridden speed horses like that in Australia anyway but he's also had a successful if short stint in the USA where he did well on the dirt tracks and I think his riding of speed horses on the dirt is going to be something we look at as a feature as the season goes on. So he's going to give uh, Winner Supreme every chance to win here. He's going to bounce to the front. He'll run them along, not to slow them up, but run them along at a good rhythm, a good tempo, and keep his momentum going. And I think that's going to put a lot of these runners out of the race in the early and middle stages. But we do have a guide on these uh, two horses, Kobe Opa and Winner Supreme, if we go back to when they last met at the end of last season. And uh, the scenario played out pretty similarly there to what we expect here. Winner Supreme was in front bowling along and he looked to have them beaten at the 200 metre mark. Kobe Opa in the yellow and blue colours looks like he's just going to run a nice placing. But over the final stages he knuckles down, Winner Supreme isn't as strong and Kobe Opa gets over the top of him and he's running away at the finish for a convincing victory. Now that win took Kobe Opper's record to th four starts for three wins in a second on the dirt. Uh, Winner Supreme has a similar kind of record, but I think that Kobe Opper's win there with him coming away at the end indicates that he might be the one of the two with a bit more upside still to him. So the tip in race nine is Kobe Opper. His winning factor is the map. I think the way that Blake Shin will ride the leader here, Winner Supreme, is going to make it very difficult for horses which are not in striking range in the run to get past him. But I think Kobe Opper has enough speed to do that and he's going to be stronger at the finish. Well, that's it for the winning factor this week. Good luck on Sunday. We'll see you next time.